एवरी वन वेलकम टू ईज ए इंग्लिश सो फॉर टूडेज वीडियो आई टॉट अबाउट इंक्लूडिंग अ थिंक ऑफ इंडियन नर्स इन माई वीडियो सो माई टूडेज वीडियो इज कॉन बी अबाउट ऑन एन इंडियन पोएट हु इज़ वेल अक्लेम्ड एंड वेल नोन हीज वर्कस आर सो वाइडली रेड दैट ही इज कैप्ट लाइफ टू हीज वर्कस ही इज नान अदर दैन रविंद्रनाथ टगोर रविंद्रनाथ टगोर वॉज बॉर्न ऑन सेवेंथ मे 186 he was an indian polymath that is a writer poet playwright composer philosopher social reformer and painter he reshaped bengali literature and music as well as indian art with contextual modernism in the late 19th and the early 20th centuries he is author of the profoundly fresh and beautiful verse of gitanjali In 1913 he became the first non-European as well as the first lyricist to win the Nobel Prize in literature. His elegant prose and magical poetry remain largely unknown outside Bengal. He is sometimes referred to as the bard of He said that British administration was a political system of social disease. He maintained that even those at the extreme of poverty there can be no question of blind revolution preferably to it was a steady and purposeful education so with this we shall start with the poem when mind is without fear by rabindranath tagore a brief introduction to the poem it is a lyric number 35 in tagore's gitanjali It is different from the rest of the previous poems. Most of the earlier lyrics deal with spiritual love, but this is politically and was included in Gitanjali from one of the Tagore's Bengali works written much earlier. It is regarded as one of the most popular and effective lyrics of Tagore. In order to understand this poem in a better way, let us delve a bit into the times when india was under british rule since this poem was written when india was under british colonialism so during this time the the british used to follow the divide and rule policy they used to always try to separate people and no mingling was allowed education was restric- restricted to a certain sections of the society Indians were treated as barbarians who needed to be civilized. The practice of sati was so rampant that thousands of women used to lose their lives by jumping into the funeral pyre of their husband. So with this brief introduction about the times during British colonialism, let's get started with the poem Where Mind Is Without Fear. I shall be reading the poem first and then we shall analyze it. where the mind is without fear and the hate is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into the fragments of narrow domestic walls where words come out from the depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of that habit where the mind is led forward by the into ever widening thought and action into that free heaven of freedom my father let my country awake in the first two lines tagore is pleading to god for his countrymen to be fearless and self-respecting only when they know knowledge of their rights and duties and responsibilities knowledge of what is right and what is wrong hence the poet wants knowledge should be freely imparted to all the citizen of his country he is also dreaming of a nation where there is no division of the society on petty disputes for the division makes country weak and fragile he also wants his citizens to be truthful for truth is such a virtue that is liked by all to add on he says that 
his countrymen should not be superficial and words should come from the depth of their hearts the poet wants everyone to work hard to reach their goal and in the long run should re- reach perfection he thinks that they should not be tired by working people should not be lazy and ignoring their duties in line 7 to 8 the poet compares reason or logical thinking to a clear stream and in the next line he compares bad habits or superstitious beliefs to a dreary desert he wants the stream of reason and logic not to lose its way into the desert of prejudices in short people's thoughts should not be monitored by illogical thinking or by superstition illogical beliefs which are baseless in line 9 to 11 the poet wishes his countrymen to be progressive and broad minded he wants that their minds are led forward by ever widening thought and action in short we should be open minded and do something unusual and extraordinary overcoming the narrowness of mind so in a whole Tagore is yearning for a nation where there is principle of unity which is followed by everyone and that would be a heaven on earth. The overall principle of unity is the guiding principle of holistic understanding. It is the self-consistent comprehension human un- human understanding aims to account for individual facts and relation that falls within its scope eventually to include all aspects of life there is also emphasis on unity in diversity which is not only based on mere tolerance of physical cultural linguistic social religion political ideological but also psychological differences which exist among people it is more complex unity based on an understanding that differences enrich human interactions so to conclude where the mind is without fear by rabindranath tagore is one of his vastly read and discussed poems a poem written in a form of prayer to the almighty the almighty for a true freedom for his country and thus Tagore reveals his own concept of freedom throughout this poem. With this, I come to the end of today's video and the poem The Mind is Without Fear by Rabindranath Tagore. Do comment down and let me know what is your take on this poem. Do sus- subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon and get notified each time I upload a new video. Do like the video and share it to people. Thanks for watching. Have a great day ahead.